Hello, I'm Andrew Smith from Treescape Certified Arborist. Welcome to this week's edition of the Green Review. This week we're going to actually have our own Mythbusters uh, to dispel different myths about trees. And to, to help me with this task is our own uh, consulting arborist, Paul Hambidge. Now, Paul, let's get right to the chase and we'll start with our, our, our first myth that we've pulled out here. And that's uh, the fact that lots of mulch is good. Now, I know whenever we uh, are recommending uh, planting trees and so forth, we always suggest to our customers that they, they put three or four inches of, uh, of mulch around because it's good for, uh, for water uh, uh, retention around the tree. Uh, it supplies perhaps some nutrients uh, to the tree as well as it's decomposing, as well as it keeps the whippersnippers away. But what is the effect of too much mulch around the tree? Too much mulch is probably a bad thing. Um, like you say, Andrew, we want to keep it to around about three to four inches deep. If we go too deep, um, we can stop gaseous exchange with the soil. Uh, we can soak up too much moisture and not let that percolate through to the tree roots. Um, and also, we can, uh, if it's very near to the root collar of the tree, we can start crown rots. Okay. The second uh, myth that we want to, to investigate here is the fact that uh, in, in the spring season, uh, whenever we, we prune some trees, sometimes there's excessive uh, uh, sap run or what people consider to be bleeding. Um, now, is there a problem in, in pruning trees when this sap is running or the trees are bleeding? No, there isn't really a problem. Um, really, uh, when the sap's flowing, um, the, the tree is still getting plenty of, uh, of its uh, conducting sugars and everything up from the roots of the tree up to the top of the tree. Um, it doesn't really matter as long as we don't do too much pruning. Um, as we said before, really, um, don't do any more than 25% removal of live growth and, and preferably a lot less than that. That will reduce the number of cuts and reduce the bleeding. Very good. So really, in, in moderation, pruning a tree any time of year is fine. Yeah, absolutely. Now, another myth that's out there is the suggestion that before planting a tree, you need to prune it either for some structural pruning or to kind of equal out the number of branches that there are to the root mass. So is there any truth to this? No, there isn't really. And, and please, I would stress, Andrew, don't um, prune any live growth off a newly planted tree. When a tree is first planted, it needs um, two or three years to establish um, and get over the shock of having um, lost a great proportion of its root system. Um, maybe you only need to prune out dead diseased or broken wood in the first three years and look to maybe two or three years after establishment to pruning for structure uh, and any defects that might be in the tree. Okay. Now another popular suggestion that floats around out there is the fact that once you prune a branch uh, away from a tree that you should cover it or paint over it with uh, some kind of a pruning paint or a tar or some sort of covering to keep the elements off of the tree. Uh, what, 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 what about this myth? Well no Andrea and, and as you know that's something we used to do many years ago and then there was a great deal of research as to whether or not this was effective or not. Um, there really is no benefit in painting tree wounds. In fact, it can be a bit counterproductive because uh, the fungal spores which are in the air all the time get locked in behind the tree paint, creating uh, conditions ideal for their growth. The tree is quite capable of looking after itself and compartmenting itself, as we call it. All right. Now, the final thing that I want to look at here and, and, and ask you about is the suggestion that uh, a, a tree's root systems will go as deep in the ground as the tree is sticking out of the ground. Is there any truth to this? Not really, no, Andrew. If anything, they spread wider than the crown of the tree. Um, a tree roots, mostly, 80% of them will be in the top, about the top meter of the soil. That's the top three feet of the soil. Um, and they'll spread much wider as I said, than the actual um, width of the tree. Well, thanks very much, Paul, for helping us to dispel some of the common myths that are out there about trees. Okay. And that's all the time we have for today's Green Review. Until next Friday, here's your point to ponder. By cooling the air and ground around them, the shade from trees actually helps to cool the Earth's temperature. We'll see you next week. I'm Andrew Smith. The Green Review is brought to you by Treescape Certified Arborists. We bring trees to life.